All right, I'm going to quickly go over a quick way to ensure that your settlement never goes thirsty. It is fast, reliable, and it only takes you like four minutes if you're quick. You don't have to bring anything with you. You can go in with nothing. All you need to do is just run the route that I'm running. And then at the end of this video, I will give you my first impressions on this game and my s a slight review as I've only played about like two hours before I discovered this. So the reason why this works and is reliable is because it appears that this map has three loot seeds from what it looks like. At least in this specific area with water spawns and it's a guarantee spawn. So the map rotates on three different seeds. Enemies may or may not uh, rotate on a different spawn pattern, but they are consistently in the area. So all you gotta do is just come here and run this path. And you will get water enough to satisfy all of your needs that you'll be doing and not have to worry about your face ever start uh going thirsty if you care about that this will oh my god has the lag got even worse no it's fine it's just the lag dimension right now because of fog So this video will help out, it is not made for 80% of the players, because 80% of the players probably aren't playing this anymore, which I'll get into the review of why. But you literally just have to run up that, climb on the terrain, won't be just beeline it in this direction. Oh, fuck these fucking stutter bastards. Don't get noticed by any of the ghouls. Pretend like nothing ever saw me on the way here. Ah, oh, shit, I got sawn. Ignore it. The problems will go away. I promise. Unless these dudes see me. Unless those dudes see me. Ready right in here? Because there's always patrol here. And the water is literally over in this corner. Yoink the water. Oh, sweet. They didn't come after me. Just quickly grab some loot. Fill your little bag. Fill the bag, the bag, the bag. And there's always money here too. You can always find a lot box here as well. And then just beeline it up this ramp around the corner. Because going in the trenches can be death. Just run your little happy ass across everything. Ignore the zombies. They will go away. They pose absolutely no threat to your health whatsoever. Hey, bam! You are done. That's all you need to do. Just run this over and over, and you'll get it done in, like, less than four minutes. That's all you need to know. If... That's all you're here for. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And may water never run out in your base. Now my thoughts on this game. Um, I don't want to hate on it just to hate on it, but this game has a good atmosphere. 
good art direction, good concept. The trailers are amazing, had amazing marketing, but I think they have shot themselves in the foot very much so with how they released this game in the state. I understand it's early access. I understand things approve. I mean, look at No Man's Sky. They made an amazing combat. Well, what they do, they fucking tumbled, uh, tumbled their little ass out that door and died on release. And not many games have the liberty of making that comeback. Um, this game has poor optimization. It's not even frame rate related. It's stutter related. Because the game will just kick up and the game will be playing in the background but you can do literally nothing. Which you saw in the beginning of that run right there. I've played four matches before I found that route which I have been running for about the 40 minutes in my off time just so I can stock up on water. Because with game crashes, okay let's First off, optimization needs to be happen. It's going to keep most people away. Let's say you don't have a large audience with this game. It's an extraction shooter that's hard. It's meant to be hard. They even advertise that you're not the guy. You are just a scavenger. I understand that. I can respect that. You are locking away a giant portion of your audience potential audience at that because casual gamers do not play these kind of games um look at the frontier cycle that fucking game died it was f they went to free to try to save it and still died there were so many issues in that game but it was pvp this is a pve game Without optimization and not having a genre with a large audience to begin with, it's going to kill this game. This game's not going to run for a very long time with how it has set up because it's servers and it's always online. Your base runs off of real time water, which is going to kill another portion of the audience that's not into those time crunch games and don't want to lose their stuff on an arbitrary timer where they have to constantly log in and to do stuff. So let's say the total audience was cut down to 20% of it's just not the game for them. And then optimization kills another 10%. And then having to log in anyway all the time to like keep your base running kills another 5%. And then the other last 5% is people high off copium right now of this game will get better this game will get better it will get better in time but will it be able to get itself to the point of being financially stable i have seen so many early access games not get to that point because it has had a horrible first impression people don't come back to it and why would they so i hope i hope to the heavens that this game does not need a huge influx of cash from the launch of this early access because this is a rough state game. Now outside of optimization, the game feels pretty jank. They can smooth out some of the problems, aiming, something about this seems weird. It doesn't feel good. And there's just a lot of things that just don't feel good with the movement. It's just hard to explain. It's missing something. It's missing something from the feel-good status. And what do you have outside of that? You also have the water system that's going to also turn people away. Um, it shouldn't even be in the game. It, it it has it serves it needs to be completely reworked this is a huge turnoff for casual people me being included i'm not a casual gamer i play fucking too many games but as just like a casual 
this is going to turn off people off. And if it's so easy to get water like this, why even tie it to a real-time day counter? It has no purpose to be in this game right now. They need to rework this, or at least make it to, like, something related to the in-the-game timer. Like, number of extractions brings this down instead of real-world timers. So they can... So you get people that stray away from the game, they've saved up their loot, they keep their loot stash, and they feel like they're in a good position, can take over two months away from this game, and then come back, have all that stuff, and play the new stuff. And they feel it's in a good state, and then they recommend it to their friends. Word of mouth spreads the game. But they won't come back if they lose their stuff and enough progress hasn't been made within this capacity to make them want to keep all their stuff. It's good. Just there's so many little design decisions right now and the way they release the game in the state with the bugs and the crashes and like the ways of just losing your stuff with this. It's not. It's cutting the potential audience in half and that's my little rant of I sh of how I felt after streaming this for like two hours yesterday sleeping on it thinking about it as I was working my day job today and then coming back to this when I just wanted to make the quick water run video to help people out that might stress out about this if they want to keep trying the game at uh, their own pace. But yeah, that's my two cents. Thank you for listening if you're here, and have a good rest of your day. Peace.